guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jungle Casita. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about propagating a Maranta plant or a prayer plant, it's also called. Um, I went into the nursery today looking for a red one, so they've got red bottoms and kind of these pinkish red veins. They're really pretty, but I couldn't find one that I liked, so I ended up coming home with this lemon lime one instead. Um, but I'm super thrilled. It's in really good shape. It's thriving. It's doing really well, putting out a lot of new growth. So we're going to propagate a few leaves from it today. I'm going to show you guys how to propagate in water and also how to propagate in rock wool. Um, so let's get started. So when I'm propagating a prayer plant, you're mostly looking for nodes. This is where all of the new growth is going to be sprouting from. So you want to cut just a little bit below the node so that's kind of what we're going to do here and if you look some of these are actually already growing roots at the nodes so I don't know if you can see here no you can't okay. <laughs> well, I'll do most of them in water and then I'll do one in rock wool just to kind of see how that turns out I've got a rooting hormone here and some nutrient water that I'm going to use as well so two tips that my plant daddy just taught me one is you never want to have the scissors actually pointing towards the plant. You want it pointing away so you don't snip off any unwanted pieces. And also try and get kind of a couple of inches below the node here so that you're not actually damaging the plant. So we're going to go all the way down here. our cuttings here um, so let's see we'll put the one with the longest stem into the uh, the rock wool here so this is a rock wool cube it is made of this insulation looking material um, it's sterile so you're going to need to add nutrients you're going to need to add um, kind of anything you want to add to the plant right it's not like soil where there's a lot already going on in there just naturally so you're going to dip your, uh, your rock wool cube, and it does have a hole at the top. You're going to dip it in your nutrient water, and you're going to just let it soak. All right, you guys, so this is what I've got my rock wool cube in. This is a propagation tray, this black tray over here, and inside I've got a liner. What this tray allows me to do is I can actually take a lot of cuttings at once. I can put them all into their own little cubes, and I can get everything propagated at once. So this is good if you're trying to take a lot of cuttings or you don't always necessarily have good weather. Um, this is probably a, a good climate, I guess I, I guess I should say. This is a lifesaver and why I say that is because they come with these domes and the domes are meant to kind of maintain the humidity and the heat inside to help the plants propagate and root faster. Um, at the top there are these little spinners and you can open them to let air in or you can close them if you want to kind of maintain the heat and the humidity inside the actual dome. Um, so, so these are my final two pieces here. I'm going to just zip them in rooting hormone. This vessel's a little bit big for them, but I don't have any other vessels right now. So this is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to give them a couple of weeks. It should take maybe three to four weeks. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, again, at Jungle Casita, you can see kind of how, how they move along. And we can check on their progress and see all the roots going. And once the roots are in, I'll go ahead and plant them. And we'll probably do it again. Thanks for tuning in. 